Hey folks, this day started on a terrific note. Toys, toys, toys. This, the Edinburgh Rotary Club, I mean, it's $2,000 to the Channel 5 Toys, and we went to Walmart and spent it all. It was great. We're going to give that stuff out to kids across the valley who uh, don't have toys or might not be able to. Hospitals, kids in the hospitals will get some of those toys. $2,000, we spent a little more than that today, actually. went over our budget, but that's okay. All for the toys. Thanks to the Rotary Club of Edinburgh coming through again for Channel 5 Toys. We really appreciate the generosity from the club. Here's a look at our temperatures across the valley now. 59 in McAllen, 64 in Isabella and Brownsville, 56 in West Lago, Edinburgh, down to 54 already. It's going to go down a couple more tonight. We'll probably get down to the dew point, and you know what that means. These are the dew points. We get there, you get fog, so watch out for that. Our average dew point right now, comfortable, but still, temperature gets down to that. You end up with 100% humidity and no wind to stir things up. So you get some fog. That's likely tonight into early tomorrow. Here's your low temperatures, and they're right at that dew point. You can see, so the fog potential is there. Then tomorrow, I think the fog may be there early, some clouds early, but as that day goes on, I think sunshine's going to take over. The southwest wind will really warm things up. We're likely to get back up around 80 or so tomorrow afternoon, so probably the warmest day we've seen in a few. The normal high is 72, so we're way above that. Then we come back down, courtesy of the front that comes through on Thursday. There's kind of two fronts. The first one, like last week, we call it a prefrontal trough. It shifts the winds, doesn't bring any cool air in. Then the second one brings cool air in on Thursday. Satellite shows a lot of clouds tonight. More than likely, they'll be there, low clouds and fog. But during the daytime tomorrow, sunshine will take over. Now, there is the chance just before dawn, there could be a light shower or a sprinkle in a few spots. A little storm developing to the north of us could be close enough to trigger a sprinkle, but certainly by dawn, it's out of here. By afternoon, we're just uh, overwhelmed with sunshine. Thursday, front comes through. It gets windy for just a little while on Thursday. Winds, like last week, gusting to over 40 miles an hour probably on Thursday. A gale watch is in effect at the coast. It's just going to be another one of those windy days. And then Friday, the wind goes away. We're back to sunshine. It's just downright gorgeous. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're dry, but I think there's a wind issue for Thursday. Bigger picture across Texas in the 50s in most of the state till you get to Dalhart, 32 up there. Warm front moving away. Low pressure is going to develop right here. That's going to pull the air in. So we'll have a southwest flow for a while tomorrow. Then Thursday, we get the northwest flow courtesy of the front, and we end up cooling things off a little bit. Again, very windy Thursday, a little bit cooler. Friday, plenty of sunshine. By the weekend, another front's on the map. That one's going to kind of sneak through Sunday, not make a whole lot of difference. Maybe cooling us off a little, but not a great deal. So by the time we get to the Christmas holiday, it looks very, very mild, probably above average. Winds out of the west, northwest, 5 to 15. There's a gale watch for Thursday at the coast. So dense fog possible tonight, a low of 55. Then tomorrow, uh, some fog early, but then sun comes out up to 80 degrees with winds out of the southwest. Here we go, 80, 75, 73. So we stair step down. Nighttime lows do the same thing. So cold Friday morning, cold Saturday morning, and then we start the warming process again. Christmas Eve, Christmas Day in the mid-70s. That is your updated first one five forecast. Well.